Hello and welcome back. So we discussed a projection of lines with inclination uh, through one reference plane and two reference planes. Uh, and we are going to pro we solve three problems and we are going to move further now. Now, in simple cases where that both the angles are given that it is inclined with VP and it is in inclined with HP and the true length is given, it is rather easy to interpret the problem and to draw the projections of uh, the line on both HP as well as VP. But what if I change the data? I don't actually give you the uh, I don't give you the true length, or I don't give you uh, the angles at which uh, the line is with VP and with HP. So in that case, what? How will you draw the projection of lines? That we are going to discuss in the next four problems. Well, I'll be using uh, animation for the first problem and then the rest of the three problems. I will actually draw on paper and I'll show you that how you should solve it on paper. I'll not be using any instruments, I'll be drawing it roughly, but you'll rather understand that how you have to actually draw it on paper itself when the question is given to you. Okay, so let's go to the example number four, that is the fourth problem of today. Now, this is a case uh, which is different from the ones that we have discussed up till now. The distance, let's read the problem first, the distance between the end projectors of a straight line AB is 60 mm. Point A is 5 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Point B is 40 mm above HP and 50 mm behind VP. We have to draw the projection of line and find the inclination of AB with HP as well as VP and also find the true length. Okay, so now just let's just first analyze what all data is given. Let, let's see. Uh, first of all, what is given is the distance between end projectors. Now, what actually is this end projector thing? So, I'll just draw a simple problem uh, and then we will uh, see that what it is. So this is a line XY and I will suppose that uh, say my line is inclined with HP and uh, it is uh, parallel to VP. So what will happen is uh, say this is point A which is at a distance of X above A and uh, this is a there sorry and this is a which is y okay now what uh, the line is inclined to hp so it will be uh, this is it and it will be making an angle of say theta and this is b dash okay so something of this sort and this will be its projection I'm considering that it is pa parallel to one and uh, it is inclined to other. So this is a B. So this is what this is my uh, front view and this is my top view. This is my VP and this is my HP. Now what actually is end projector? So the distance between the initial and the final points of the projections are known as the end projector. See if I draw a line which passes through a dash and a they both are in one line they always are in one line the, this is one of the end projector and the second one is this this is the second end projector so if i just extend it a little bit and if i say okay this is distance say z then we can say that the distance between the end projectors is z and these both lines are known as the end projectors i hope you understood that for any point uh, for any uh, projection if we have the both the lines uh, one of the lines which is passing through one of the segments and the other line which is passing through other segment like this then these both are known as end projectors and even if i say key uh, both are at the this is true length okay now in case that both are not actually uh, uh, the line is actually making an angle with hp as well as vp 
then what happens is that then to say if this is the thing and this is the thing this is a rough uh, figure that i'm drawing this is a dash and b dash and this is a and this is b in any case these two points will always be in straight line and these two points will always be in straight line be it a case where be it any case that the line is perpendicular to uh, uh, sorry the line is inclined to one and uh, parallel to to um, second plane or it is inclined to both the planes or it is parallel to both the planes in all the cases the end projectors will contain the line seg uh, the end points of the projections of the front view as well as the top view in vp and hp respectively okay okay so let's put this aside the second thing is let's come to the problem the distance between the end projectors of a straight line is given to as 60 mm so the distance between the end projectors is given to me now what will i do is that i'll first draw my line xy and then um, using my end projectors i'll draw my projections and using my projections i'll draw what i will draw my uh, true length and then i will find my angle of my true length with my hp as well as vp now another thing that is given in the problem is that let's proceed further now there are two points a and b now the position of a is given and then position of b is given so let's see position of i'll just write position of a and position of b so i just want to locate that uh, where are these points located for this what is given to me okay i'll draw the quadrants this is my first quadrant this is my second quadrant this is my third quadrant this is my fourth quadrant first second third and fourth quadrant okay so let's uh, talk about point a first what it says is point a is 5 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp so what i have to do is i have to take 5 this is my hp and this is my vp so it is 5 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp 5 mm above hp and 30 mm in front of vp so my point will be somewhere around here 5 mm above hp and this is 5 mm and this distance is 30 mm so this is my point it is there in what it is there in the first quadrant okay now next thing that is given to me is that point b is 40 mm above hp and 50 mm behind vp so what will happen is that i will measure it again it is 40 mm above hp so it will be somewhere here and 50 mm behind vp so it will be somewhere here so if i plot the point it is actually here so it is there in what it is there in the second quadrant so what will happen is that my points will my both the points my hp and vp will differ a bit now how will they how will they differ let's see it in the animation figure that we, we are going to discuss to solve the problem okay the first step is to draw the line xy and to draw the planes as we did in all the problems up till now okay so this is hp and vp okay then the next thing is let's draw the end projectors which will be 60 mm apart we can take uh, we will draw one line and then 60 mm away from that we will draw another line which will be parallel to the first line this is the first line and then 60 mm away i'll draw another line which is parallel to that line so these are my two end projectors so my projections that i want to draw first i'll draw my projection and from that i am going to draw my true length so my projections will be bit uh, touching these both the lines 
that's why they are known as end projectors and i have the distance is equal to 60 mm between these two end projectors okay so let's move ahead next step in my step 3 i'll plot my point b first i'll plot my point b in such a way that b dash is 40 mm above the line xy when i say above the line xy this is because that uh, my point B is 40 mm above HP that's why in VP when we say in the front view uh, when I'm plotting my point B dash then it will be 40 mm above the line XY as you will be seeing it appear on your screen right now now the next thing that is there in this is that B point is 50 mm what 50 mm behind VP so what will happen is that the point B will also be in above XY. Why? Because the point is in second quadrant and we are when we rotate the uh, plane HP plane clockwise, then my point B will also land up where it will land up above XY. That is why uh, that is because my point B is actually in the second quadrant and it will be 50 mm above the line XY as you can see on this figure so both the endpoints of uh, that is b as well as b dash will both be above the line x y because one of the point uh, because the point is where because the point is in the second quadrant so hp there is a horizontal projection as well as a vertical projection both of them will be above the line x y in the upper plane okay now next we are going to plot point a now point a is in the first quadrant so its front view will come on vp and its top view will come on hp that is above uh, a one will be above uh, xy that is my front view will be above xy and my top view will be below uh, this uh, below the line xy now let's point, uh, plot point a dash which is 5 mm above the line xy why because it is 5 mm above hp that is why it is above xy 5 mm and then again uh, we'll uh, plot a. okay sorry yeah so this point this point is a dash which is 5 mm above xy and this point is a which is 30 mm below xy why because it is for 30 mm in front of vp which you'll see this i'll mark this as a dash and i mark this as a and i've removed these markings so that what so that i can make the figure more easier for you to understand now what we will do is now we will draw we will join a b and a dash b dash and please try to first we'll jo join it and then we will discuss it out see a to i'll do it again a to b and then a b is joined then a dash b dash is joined now a dash b dash is my front uh, view or say plan and a, uh, a b is my top view sorry i have uh, that v has become p so kindly pardon me for that it is f v that is front view and t v that is top view it is not f p and v p uh, sorry t p okay in the next step what is going to do uh, now, now what we are going to do is that we are going to rotate a b as you can see it is already it is already being uh, done this line is the top view and this line is the front view so let's rotate it and make them uh, parallel to x y so what i'm going to do is that i will with b as center and b a as my radius i will draw an arc and i will cut uh, this line which is parallel to x y at a1 so what will happen this b a1 will be equal to the length of the top view and similarly what i'll do is a dash b dash will also be rotated in the same manner and i will have my b dash and a2 dash this line which is seeing in orange now this length is equivalent to the front view and this length is equivalent to the top view now 
why am I doing this? This is actually a totally reverse procedure of what I am following. In the previous problem, what I did was that I first drew my true length and then drop my shadow of the true length on the initial point that was A. Now here what I am doing, I am doing the total reverse process. I have first drawn my projection and there now I am dropping my sh the shadow of my projection. I am using my projection to get my original figure. That is what I am doing in this particular problem. So now I have got B A1 which is actual length of my top view and B A2 dash which is actual length of my front view. The next is that we will draw locus for A and A dash. This is the locus for A and this is the locus for A dash that we have drawn. Okay. This we did in the last uh, problem, uh, last problem also. But what was the difference that this locus was drawn before marking the arcs, and then we used these. Uh, if you see it on the page, if you see it in the slide, first we got this shadow, then we drew this locus. Then what we did, we took this radius, and we what we did is we cut an arc here, and we got the projection. Now we had the projection. So we took this length and we got that shadow back again and then we drew uh, then we again drew the lo locus as we did in the previous problem. The next step that comes is that is step number 8 that we will drop perpendicular from A1 on the locus of A dash. See if uh, A, A1 B so I will drop the locus on what I will drop the locus on A dash. And if when we are talking about A B, then we will drop the locus on A. This is how the perpendicular is being dropped on the locus of A dash, and this I will name it as A1 dash. Then what I'll do is I will join B1 to A1. This is one of my true lengths. This is one of the uh, see remember we divided the pattern into uh, first the front view and the top view we considered inclination with only uh, horizontal projection and we draw the intermediate front view and we considered uh, an intermediate and then we draw the intermediate top view so this is what the green line that i have obtained is what is my true length which is which i have actually obtained from this uh, intermediate uh, projection that i generated and these are the original projection i use this projection to get my one of my true length